Welcome to Basketball U. If you're new to Basketball U, make sure you slam dunk that subscribe button. And just to make sure you don't miss a thing, make sure you tap that notification bell right after you hit that subscribe button. Basketball U, welcome back. We are excited to finally get into the details of skills of basketball. We hope you are learning so much from all of our previous episodes. Make sure to share, like, comment, and subscribe by hitting that button. Also, if there are some questions or skills you want to learn about, let us know in the comment section and we will try to cover that subject for you. Today's episode brings you into the world of dribbling. Over time, we have witnessed some of the greatest moves and exciting plays, whether it's been in the NBA or street ball. And with that, we're about to check out some street ball clips and some NBA clips right now. Oh my goodness, what kind of pass was that? Oh, 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 he threw it off his head. You can't do that. You can't do that in the NBA. There's so much violations called, but still, it's entertaining. My goodness. With the quickness. Oh my. I did not see that coming. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop talking and just let you enjoy these clips. Enough of these highlight reels, let's get back to business. Ball handling is the most important part of the game of basketball. Included in this skill is both dribbling and passing. Because it is one of the most basic, it is often overlooked in importance. However, without ball handling, the ball could not be advanced up the court or offices could not be run effectively. A misconception of ball handling has often been that the point guard is the only one who should be skilled in ball handling. While the point guard handles the ball often, they should not be considered the sole ball handler. No longer do we live in a basketball world where we just depend on the point guard to bring up the ball. The responsibility is now placed on the other players such as the shooting guards and posts which are some players that actually bring the ball up the floor or have it in their hands for the majority of the game to make plays. Basketball has changed over the last several years. Previously, post could do their jobs around the basket, such as shooting shots off a of post move or boxing out and rebounding, and that would be enough. Today, taller players who are called posts are found dribbling the ball up the court against multiple defenders, shooting jump shots from behind the three-point line, and making offensive moves that required good ball handling. To become more valuable to the team, all players, regardless of height 
or position should develop good ball handling skills often. The difference between good teams and great teams is in the depth of their ability to handle the ball. Now this brings the question, with so much diversity in the game today and the evolution of what's allowed for a ball handler, what type of ball handling styles are out there? Assist to turnover ratio, type ball handlers. The first thing you should take a look at is the turnover column and that lets you know the liability of the person you have distributed the ball for your team. Seeing the total turnovers by both teams and see who come out on top. More often than not, it's the team who possibly came out victorious, but you don't want your main ball handler to be the main because of that. Assist to turnover ratio to shoot for as a team is at least a 2-1 ratio, but as a guard, it should be about 3-1. Why is this so important? If your team is getting twice as many assists as turnovers, they are moving the ball and getting good shots much more than they are throwing the ball away. The top teams and point guards in basketball always accomplish this. Fundamentally sound ball handlers. This would be looked at as an old school style where ball handlers utilize their dribble to advance the ball, making a play or effectively scoring with simple positioning of the body and protecting the ball limiting the amount of dribble moves to get around the defender loose ball handler this type of ball handler uses a wider and more loose handle to sell moves by extending the ball outside of their body one very common habit is they begin most moves with gaining hesitation forcing defense to make a decision Tight ball handlers. Tight ball handlers keep the ball close to their body and never extend their arm and use their ability of being quicker or having a fast first step to blow by defender. This typical ball handler is usually a smaller prototype of a player. Shifty ball handlers. Shifty ball handlers tend to understand how to slightly displace a defender and are very good at understanding when to counter based off the reaction of their defender instantly. Simple concept of having the ability and understanding to change speeds vertically and horizontally. Advanced momentum ball handlers. These specialists use defenders as momentum against them. The skill set is important when looking more in depth on how to use the momentum against defenders. Also, these ball handlers understand how the position of the defender is as well. The stop and go action and reaction time is very special. Deceptive ball handlers. These players primarily use eyes, body shifting, ball fakes, along with some creative positioning of their feet to deceive the opposing player. And here an example we're going to use CP3, Chris Paul. Here in the eyes you can see he's probably going to the right, but he ends up going to the left, confusing the defender. Here Chris Paul pump fakes and pass fakes on Rudy Gobert, making Rudy look very confused. Here Chris Paul is using his body to make the defender bounce back, leaving the shot less contested. And if they want to drive into the paint, call a screen. It never fails. It never fails. Attacking slash aggressive type ball handlers. These players keep ball handling limited and using a initial move and one quick counter to get downhill and to the basket. These players understand their quickness with the ability to shift a defender enough to bite on a move to blow by them. Their speed is respected enough along with their ability to make decision making that help defense doesn't bother coming over once the initial defender gets beat off the dribble. Take each segment of the ball handlers we have broken down and find out which one you want to model your game after or what fits your style of dribbling. 
If you like a certain player style of play, then it's important to lock into their skill sets and with consistency and practice over and over again, it will allow you to acquire the skill you desire. Remember that becoming a good basketball player doesn't take a few days or a few weeks. It's a process that takes hard work and dedication. And we will be here to help every step of the way. Be sure to hit us up in the comments with any questions about basketball or skills you would like to learn in the upcoming videos. This has been the Art of Ball Handling. This is Basketball You. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, follow all of our social medias right there in the description to keep yourself up to date as this channel will have a lot of basketball a lot of players and a lot of training and more information on how to play the game of basketball remember someone's always working are you 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 you